welcome back to another week and another video. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope at the end of it you like it and end up subscribing. But I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I have purchased on Amazon that have quickly become favorites um, because, I mean, they're useful. They're also very aesthetic. So let's go ahead and get started. There's something about coffee that just it's become a real addiction and it's honestly a problem. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about are these cute little cleaning cloths. I have had these, okay, well not these exact ones, but I've had these for, let's see, three, two, two or three years. I've had them for a long time. So these are great if you don't wanna use like makeup removing wipes. But the reason that I, or the way I like to use these is whenever I'm a little anal about my makeup brushes. Let's say I'm applying foundation. So I apply my foundation. I cannot stand to have a dirty brush in my drawer. That's just personal. I'm very picky. I mean, if you like to leave the makeup on yours and you wash them once a week, great. If it works for you, you know, good. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying for me, I need to clean my brushes after every use which is honestly very annoying, but I just can't leave them there with foundation on. What I do is I apply my foundation and then I just swirl the brush like two seconds, one, two, clean. It gets the makeup off, I put it back in the drawer and I don't have to worry about dirty brushes next time I'm going to use them. So that's how I like to use them. They are very like velvety and I really, really like how they feel. I have 20 of these because I do just one use. I put it in a little basket and then I wash it and good. So definitely, definitely have been a favorite. I mean, with the holidays coming up, you could also give these to a makeup lover in your life or just someone who's lazy because these come in handy to get your makeup off. These get everything off. Something else that is very unique and interesting and honestly, I didn't even know these existed until I saw my brother's girlfriend using one of these and I was like, what is that? And it's a rechargeable lighter. I like to use these for candles. I have two of them. It has a flexible tip. So you could really flex it to however you want, depending on the candle shape. You just charge it right there. You push this up. Well, it should have been down, but there it goes. You push the on button and it just turns on. Again, a great gift. This next favorite honestly has been put to the test. I love jewelry but I'm a lazy jewelry wearer. I need jewelry that I can sleep in, go to the gym in, shower with, because I just, if I have to take it off, put it on, take it off more than once or twice a day, I will not wear it. Just, I just won't. So these bracelets right here, I got on Amazon. I don't know, I think maybe a couple of months ago. And as you can see, they still look very shiny and very, very gold. I have not taken these off to shower, to go to the gym, to sleep in. I mean, I wash dishes, I do laundry, I wipe dirty paws and butts. Let's be clear, dog butts. I have not noticed any marks on this. I also wear a lot of um, like hand lotion and it hasn't even tarnished it or anything. It came in a pack of four or five for like $13, I think. I'm gonna link everything down below so that you can just click it and it'll take you directly there. But these have been amazing. I mean, if you know someone that loves bracelets or loves jewelry, and they're very hard on their stuff, these are great. Another jewelry item that I wanted to share with you are these earrings. These are super cute. They are kind of a huggy hoop. But the unique thing about them is that it has a little chain on the end and towards the top, you can't really see it because they're so tiny, but it has a little bit of a overlapping effect, which makes it look a little bit different than just your average huggy hoop. I really like these because they kind of feel like they're a two-in-one. 
I get really close, maybe you could see them, but trust me, these are really nice. They also come in a pack. This next one is super random, but the amount of times that I have practically cut my cuticle all the way up to my arm is countless. I can safely and happily report that I found this one and it's so inexpensive. I also like that it has a little lid at the top so you can really carry it with you wherever you go. I like to keep one of these in my purse and the other one in my little nail kit because you know if you're a girl, well, not necessarily a girl, but if you have nails or long nails or nail polish, the amount of times that you have a hang nail or just like a little cuticle area that is just a little hard or rough and you really want to get rid of and you're there just like, you know, trying to get it with your freaking teeth, this will come in clutch. Literally the easiest cuticle trimmer I have ever tried. Another favorite of mine is a phone case. I have recently just purchased the iPhone 15 and I always, always get a case that has a wallet in it because I hate to say it because I keep saying it's because I'm lazy and then this is the solution, but I would prefer to have my ID, wallet, just whatever else with me at all times. And what's the one thing that I never forget? My phone. I will forget my keys. I will forget my wallet if it wasn't in my phone or on my phone. But I will never forget my phone. Granted, I lose it throughout the house every two minutes it seems. Not very thick or bulky, which some of these cases tend to be. See how it's still pretty thin? It doesn't really add much. But again, it's pretty compact and slim, and I really enjoy these kinds of cases, but I have been loving this one. They have different colors, but I tend to go for black just because I don't have to worry about it getting scuffed or just getting dirty. The screen, on the other hand, always looks dirty. But anyway, that's another great recommendation and another favorite of mine. If you are someone who loves stationery or knows someone who does, these are fantastic. I actually got hooked onto these because my sister showed these to me. She had a pen and I used it and wrote with it. The coating on these is a velvety matte it feels so soft. If you've ever bought NARS makeup and you know their packaging, how it's like soft and matte, this is that. The point is very sharp, so it allows for very, very fine writing. It comes in four colors. It has a blue, a green, a pink, and then a more beigey color. I love these kind of colors. So if you're looking for pens for yourself or a gift for someone that isn't like too expensive but you know they'll actually use, these are great. These next ones are probably some of my favorite things I have bought from Amazon because of how cute they freaking are. This is, they didn't come together. Well, the keyboard and the mouse came together, but look at this color. It's like a beigey pink. And I love pink, if you didn't know. It's smooth and glossy, and it does come with the little USB that you plug into your computer. And then the keyboard, oh my goodness. Look at this thing. These colors are just perfection. I also love that they're very um, clickety. Listen. I love this sound. Sometimes I just fake type fake sentences just so that I can heal, hear this sound. If you have been looking for a keyboard, you need to try these. They are very soothing whenever you're typing just because of the sound they make. It's almost like music to my ears. So these are great. This has been a favorite of mine since like June, I think and it comes with the mouse. So I think it's a very good investment. It's not too expensive, it was like $30, $35, but it's something that you're gonna use forever. It's not like a one-time thing. So if you know someone that's a very techie person or just would appreciate this, I would definitely gift them that. They come in different colors, but of course, me being me, I had to get pink. And then I also got this mouse pad. I know it's like, it's a mouse pad, 
but look how cute it is. These kinds of colors are just what I gravitate towards. As you can see, I mean, look at the background art and my couch for crying out loud. I love all of these neutrally fun, colorful colors. So I would say a mouse, a keyboard, and a mouse pad are a great gift for yourself, for a friend. Because it's almost gonna be 2024, I would recommend for yourself or just anyone you wanna gift it to, a like some kind of an agenda. I have had this since March or so and I have really liked it. I wanted to get one that was super expensive but I just told myself no. You can get a cheaper alternative. So I got this one from Amazon. It's kind of like a, it's not leather but it is plushy. It's magnetic right here. It didn't come with the inserts, so I just made my own. This is just like cardstock paper that I bought at, I think it was Michael's or Joanne's, because I made this in Maryland. So I just bought the cardstock. I cut it into the shape that I needed it to be, and then I hole punched the holes depending on the grommets. These have, this one has six, so I just obviously punched six. So it didn't come made or pre-made, I made it myself. And then here I just have some random things. I like how this one has a little sleeve. These are inserts that I also got from Amazon. Here are some stickers and then just obviously like the mods and then just a couple of other things. But I would say if you are trying to get your life back together or just trying to be more organized, highly recommend getting a or an agenda. I, like I said, I have really, really been enjoying this and using it. I do use my phone in combination with this. But this is more for like long-term things and my phone is more for like instant reminders if that makes sense. Lastly, I don't have them with me right now just because they are on the dog's um, harness and leash, but all of our dogs have an air tag because they are a little crazy. And sometimes when we go to the park, they like if they see an animal or a squirrel, they'll take off. And our biggest fear is that they will get lost. So we have a harness, a uh, air tag on their collar and then their little harness thingy. It has a cover on it to make it more distinguishable. So like Louis is pink, Bruno's is green, and then Coco's is white. I think I can't remember. But I got these from Amazon as soon as we got the air tags, and they've been going strong. They don't even look damaged or dirty or disgusting because they tend to get really gross. If you have pets, you know. So I would definitely recommend an air tag, but also the air tag cover for your pets. Okay, my friends, we have come to the end of this video. I just showed you all of the things that are seriously my favorites and things that I have been using daily. Thank you so much for watching this video, for clicking on it and spending the time with me today because I know your time is precious and valuable and there's a million other things you could be doing but you decided to watch my video and it means a lot and I appreciate you. I hope you also end up subscribing so that you can come back next week for another video. But until then, please take care of yourself, be safe, be smart, and I will see you in the next one.